What's going on guys, Jarrell here with Knock Bro Nation, and today's video might be a sore subject for some to even consider. What we are talking about today is the Daryl Dixon spinoff. Does searching for Rick be the ultimate storyline, be the only way this spinoff works? We have to consider that question. Now, we're not saying that we're not big Daryl Dixon fans. We are. We love Daryl. His journey throughout this entire series has been one for the making. His journey from when we first met him to now has just been absolutely insane. Now, when we originally heard about this series, it was going to be Daryl and Carol. I'm not going to get into all the specifics. You guys already know those details as to why Melissa McBride dropped out. It was due. She needed a break. She's been doing this for so long. And of course, the one one major reason as to why Melissa McBride dropped out is because AMC made a location change. So when we were thinking of Daryl and Carol, we were thinking maybe Daryl and Carol are going to be going down to Mexico or New Mexico because they mentioned that previously. We had theories that, you know, maybe Leah was going to survive and Daryl was going to go look for Leah. We thought about maybe Daryl would be searching for Rick, but then they made the absolute craziest change of all. Daryl Dixon is heading to Europe. To Europe. And that's where they're filming this. That's where they're filming the spinoff. What is the only, what is the reason that they're going to give Daryl to leave the country and cross the ocean? What is the reason? They have to build it up to be something specific. And I think the only reason, the only thing that could do this is possibly Rick. Excuse me, Norman Reedus did give some a slight insight to what this spinoff is going to be about. We'll definitely probably learn more if they talk about it during uh, San Diego Comic-Con. So Norman Reedus says there's going to be a spinoff and it'll be me alone and I'll be on this mission. And those characters will come back together l later on down the road, of course. He's talking about Daryl and Carol. And other characters that might have gone missing, I'll probably run into, he said. But the spinoff will look totally different from The Walking Dead. It'll be completely different. And to be honest, you wouldn't want to do this show as a spinoff exactly the same by yourself. It's terrifying. So the, the amount of thoughts that are running through my head right now of what it could be outside of Rick... I don't have much. The main question that we are asking ourselves is, why is he leaving Alexandria and going across the ocean to Europe? Why is he leaving Judith, the one person who is so sad because she doesn't have her mother, she's hopeful right now that her father is still alive, and the only father-brother figure she has left really is Daryl, and he's going to leave Judith and RJ? Insane. I, I don't know what would cause him to do that. The only reason that we can think of right now is something with Rick. Something has to go down in this part three of The Walking Dead. Either Judith finally tells Daryl about what Michonne found and that Rick is possibly alive. But Michonne is actually going towards New Jersey, kind of, the, you know, up north to look for Rick. And we haven't heard back from Michonne yet. Will there be a spinoff for her? We have no idea. But what other information could Daryl be finding that can give him a lead to say, hey, I need to go across the ocean. Well, for one thing, Daryl, A, how are you getting across the ocean? Gasoline is in short supply. Now we know of one organization, one massive organization that has fuel for their helicopters. Now a helicopter, I believe, uh, will probably not be able to make it across the ocean to Europe. It would have to stop midway or have be refueled in the air. You know, could he take a boat across the ocean? Now, we do know of another group named Padre in Fear the Walking Dead, which we're getting into. Now, Fear the Walking Dead, of course, is six plus years behind the Walking Dead timeline. So if they do something in this timeline to where members from Padre are still around or there's boats to where Daryl can cross the ocean in a boat to get to Europe, it's just baffling me right now of how this is even going to work. But we know from the Walking Dead World Beyond post credit scene that in France right now, there are variant zombies. There are variant zombies who have a higher level of intelligence, it seems, and they can, they're not just walking, they can run, and they're a lot more powerful. So, 
could Daryl be going over? Could Europe have this spread of variant virus where the walkers are actually runners now and they're highly intelligent and, you know, even stronger? That's going to freak everyone out. We hope that they do a spinoff specifically on that because it was known that possibly the French started the virus and it spread even crazier over in Europe rather than what we're seeing here in the United States in this timeline where they're just walking around. Outside of Rick, guys, couldn't this spinoff be about anything else that you would enjoy? Or would you just rather, you know, you don't really care what the, what the story is. You just love Norman Reedus. You love Daryl. You don't care what it is. But to a lot of us, you know, we there has to be a, there has to be a story. There has to be the, you know, the main reason as to why he's going across the Europe. And, and honestly, my opinion, I think it is Rick. I think that, you know, Rick right now has been gone over a decade in the Walking Dead timeline. So would we assume could we assume that okay rick rhymes has just been in philadelphia this whole time in the crm headquarters for 10 years yeah it could work because the crm isn't going to let him go but what could also really work for rick is that he's been across the ocean for a number of years he's in europe and he can't easily make his way back across the ocean to get back home so daryl finds some lead he makes his way over to europe and that's the spinoff. But guys, there's still a sad end to the spinoff because A, we don't know how many seasons this is going to be, how long it's going to be. If it's going to be, um, it's not going to be like, you know, uh, Fear the Walking Dead's webisode, uh, you know, uh, Dead in the Water, where it was six webisodic type episodes where it only lasted an hour. I think this is going to be an actual spinoff, probably six to eight episodes at least, maybe a season, maybe two seasons. But if they are still going to be doing these Rick movies, you can't have Daryl, I mean, God, because Rick is not coming back in the main show. I mean, that's what we really wanted. We wanted Rick to come back at the end of this season, at the end of the, the final season of the series, and then tell the story in the Rick movies all the time, all the years that he's been gone to what brought him back. If Rick is not going to be back at the end of the series finale, then we're going to have to wait for his story for these Rick movies that who knows when the hell they're coming out. But Daryl isn't, I think right now, he's, he's not going to find Rick over in Europe. He's not going to find him and then bring him home because they're going to have to do even more stuff onto that. They're going to have to, we're going to have to put out a Michonne spinoff to tell that story. Like basically they're going to have to make this almost like the Avengers. We're going to have, you know, we have the, the main Avengers movie where everyone is together. Then we have these other movies to tell the other series plots that tie everything together to come back into one. Well, the Walking Dead series is ending. Um, you can't really do that now. So how are they going to do this post-Walking Dead series ending to capitalize on Rick's story, to capitalize on Michonne looking for Rick, to capitalize on whatever Daryl is doing in Europe? I mean, it, it, it's going to be crazy. I'm sure they have you know the best writers and people who can think in the world, but it, it's going to be insane of how they're going to do this. And you know, if if Daryl is over in Europe and not work, looking for Rick, is that going to make the series bad? I can't say that right now. I, I don't know. But I honestly think that in my mind, the only way to make this series work is if he is looking for Rick, because what would what else would make him leave and go to Europe? I mean, there there isn't that many things that can make him go to Europe. Daryl doesn't have Daryl has the only friends he has in the world right now. He doesn't have any friends or family outside of this that he would go searching for and i i just don't know what would cause this so guys you know we we love norma Reedus, we love daryl we're just very perplexed as to this daryl spinoff changing locations to europe and what is going to cause him to go to Europe and whatever he's going to do. So I want you guys to go into the comments. I want you guys to let us know your thoughts of this Daryl spinoff. What would cause Daryl to go to Europe other than Rick, other than searching for Rick? I want some, I want some good opinions from you guys. I want to see both sides of it. I want to see what you think about him going to search for Rick, whether he's going to find him by the end of the Daryl spinoff, or if we're going to have to wait for these Rick movies, or do you think this series is going to be just him on his own, doing his own thing, and something else brings him over to Europe 
to do his spinoff. I want to see both sides of this, guys. I definitely want to see your opinions, and we'll definitely talk more about this. Um, so let us know what you think. Stay tuned for San Diego Comic-Con news. We are super excited to check out the full-length trailer of, of Part 3. Hopefully we get a full-length trailer of Tales of the Walking Dead. We get more spinoff news, and hopefully we get some Rick Grimes news. But stay tuned for another video. We are going to be discussing what we're most excited about from San Diego and the news on the Walking Dead universe. So once again, if you are new here, make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you're always notified that we are uploading videos we're getting back into action guys from a long break that we needed but we are getting back into making these videos for you guys because we miss talking with you guys so much so once again i'm jarell with knock bro nation and i'll see you next time